capital's crisis on the outskirts of the federal capital territory on Monday as residents of the Gosa community tried resisting continuous demolition of their markets by the authorities. This is against the backdrop of the community's protest at the weekend, which caused a gridlock on the, on the airport road. TV's News Lara Afolayan reports. Any information about what I'm going to do, I want to say just like that, we stay without information. Billions of naira has gone for this market. This is what remains of the popular Gosa market on the outskirts of Abuja, the Nigerian capital, after a demolition of most stalls by the authorities. Affected traders sit around in groups counting their losses. Some of them hold placards in protest of what they describe as gross injustice. We are shocked and surprised when we saw bulldozers without any notice, without any parley, without any roundtable discussion coming to demolish this historic market, citing the fact that somebody wants to take over this land as allocated to him by FCTA. This is misnomer, this is inhuman, this is primitive and uncivilized. Most of the traders here are the FCT's local baggy women who say this is one intimidation too many by government. They push us from Wuse Market, they push us from Gariki Market. If you reach Gariki Market, you can't see any baggy woman there at the same market. If you reach Wuse Market, you can't see anybody baggy tribe at the same market there. Now we don't pack ourselves to come this side and manage it, then follow us coming again. Women in LCT say this market not they go anywhere. That we say, even he said that he don't want to leave our market for us. The first thing he will do, so that people will hear his name, people will know that his regime is the best one. Let him carry the army, come and clear the whole women for F City. If he clear us, he come and collect this market. Without so, we can't leave this market for him. The locals now seek adequate compensation. You cannot dis destroy, you cannot demolish without notifying the people. You came here and notify and did not notify anybody and demolish. You allow criminals to invade their market and took over everything that was here. We're not going to take that from the minister. But the FCT administration appears undaunted by threats from this local community as the demolitions have resumed again. And this time, more violently, some locals who tried resisting this renewed demolition were overpowered by armed security operatives and gunshots rented the air. The community residents eventually took to their heels, with the women left in tears. The locals don't appear ready to take legal action against the authorities, but would rather fight with all they have to get back their land. Lara Folayo, TVC News.